Hey everybody, this is Kodak here, and we're back with some more Screechers Wild. This time we're taking a look at another Toys R Us exclusive, Scorpio Drift. Fast and the Furious Scorpio Drift. Now, Scorpio Drift, like Stormhorn before it, is one of the former Toys R Us exclusives. It comes in this very large and curved packaging. It is a very large model, even larger than uh, V-Rex and the like, and it is, like Stormhorn, a double transformer, one that takes two discs in order to transform. Now. Like I've said before, I really like this packaging more than what we got from the regular Screechers Wild line. Without that gold lettering, this is a whole lot easier to read on camera, first of all. It uses a lighter gray for the backdrop, which really reveals all the detail they're passing around here. And you know, you don't really see big carded figures like this anymore. They either come in a box or the card has been shrunken down. But these big carded figures were all over the place in like the 80s and the 90s, so it's also a bit of a blast from the past. And Speaking of the good stuff, wow, does this look like an improvement over Stormhorn. This is what I'm talking about. I mean, you take a look in there and you're like, that's a race car, like a race car with like some giant, giant shapes on the front of it. But yeah, it actually looks like a vehicle, something that would represent something. This is just like, you know, a half transformed Ram on wheels. Get out of here. So let's uh, take another look here. We of course have the back, which reveals not only the, uh, vehicle and the double transformation that unfolds into the scorpion which actually looks really nice there are a couple of scorpions in screechers wild but this one is like a much larger scorpion than uh, what you typically get and of course the ad for uh, youtube on the back comes with four discs which are uh, considered exclusive discs although these discs don't seem to have too much detail to them they just kind of have the the fancy bracketing on the design and not really much else these discs i don't know why they've put out so many different ones since they're all essentially the same although the one up here looks like it's made out of a kind of metallic silver the one behind the exclusive disc box so let's take a look inside now this is what i'm talking about look at this thing it is gorgeous it's got the bright green that contrasts nicely with the gold and the silver and first of all it actually looks like a car it has uh, the wheels are all nice and covered they're not exposed and ugly they have these large lances on the front it's just it's large and it's in charge. It just oozes menace. And if you look at the front of it, it has what looks like sort of a toothed mouth with the uh, headlights resembling eyes with uh, uh, a mouth on the front. This is kind of the sort of design I expect when I hear the word screechers. The Basically, you take off the S and you get creatures. So they're supposed to be like screecher creatures or whatever you want to call them. But this looks exactly like what that's supposed to mean. You can tell that it's very obviously a car. It's very much a car, but you can tell that it has that sort of primal quality to it, but one that's not necessarily obvious, one that's subdued and worked into the design. I mean, you can kind of see what look like legs here on the, the guards over the rear wheels, but it's not necessarily certain what this thing might transform into. That is actually something I really like to see in figures that transform is you don't necessarily know how it's going to end up and like i said it's all really really nice here i mean we have some decals here for the the white the orange and the blue but the gold is painted on here and um i just really i really like what they've done with this design here this is a huge improvement over stormhorn let's take a look at how it transforms Yes, this is my jam. As you might have imagined, Scorpio Drift turns into a gigantic scorpion. It is the second scorpion in the Screechers Wild line, and it is by far the largest one. I do kind of wish that these claws did a bit more to it, but these gigantic crash lances turning into the claws is still really awesome with the arms that uh, flex out here. And we have the stinger, which grabs the first disc, where the actual mouth grabs the second disc. So this thing actually bites you twice, and we have the the guards here that uh, lift up. And something nice to know about the mousetrap is you can see it actually has a really small mousetrap compared to how the other ones work, but uh, the mousetrap actually props up the wheels and keeps it from just rolling around, unlike Stormhorn, which kind of turned into a, a goat on a skateboard, you know, something straight out of Goat Simulator. But like I said, I like this design a whole lot more. First of all, it doesn't look lame when you take off the disc. It looks just like normal. And um, yes, it's just... Such a good design. You can kind of see the face in under there with some white fangs. I wish this lifted up just the tiniest bit more so that we could get a better look at the scorpion face, but that's really the only nitpick I have on what is easily 
one of the stronger designs for Creatures Wild. If Stormhorn is probably the weakest design, this one is easily among the greats, such as V-Rex. It is an absolutely solid design. If your Toys R Us is going out of business and you haven't gotten the chance to grab one of these, I'd say do it before it's too late, because these things, being Toys R Us exclusives, are going to disappear and become rare very, very quickly. And who knows what will happen with Screechers while the lawsuit with Spin Master is still ongoing. Although I imagine it, uh, we'll see how it ends by the time uh, Spin Master, who apparently has such little confidence in its Bakugan remake that it feels the need to sue its competition, uh, that just, uh, I just dread the whole thing. But anyway, this is all, it also really transforms back easily. You just kind of squeeze it shut, shut the mousetrap, and there you go. It is one of the easiest to transform, probably the easiest to transform. Everything about this design is just aces. Congratulations to whoever came up with this design. You have really made something incredible. So, until next time, that is a look from uh, Scorpio Drift from Screechers Wild. And until next time, this is Kodak signing off. Mechanimal